my dear fellow, what is there in that? Some answer tall, some answer not tall. That is surely something an aunt should be able to decide for herself. You seem to think that every aunt should be like your aunt. That is absurd. For heaven's sake, give me my mid hands back. <laughs> Why is she? What does your aunt call you, her uncle? There is no objection, I admit, to an aunt being a small aunt. But why an aunt should call her own nephew her uncle? I just can't quite make out. Besides, your name isn't Jack at all. It's Ernest. It isn't Ernest. It's Jack. You've almost told me it was Ernest. I've introduced you to everyone as Ernest. You look as though your name is Ernest. You're the most Ernest looking person I've ever seen in my entire life. It's perfectly absurd saying your name isn't Ernest. It's on your cards. Here's one of them. Mr. Ernest, what then? B4, the Albany. I'll keep this as proof that your name is Ernest. If you've attempted attempt to deny it to me, or to Gwendolyn, or to anyone else. Well, my name is Ernest in town in Jack in the country, and the cigarette case is given to me in the country. Yes, but that does not account for the fact that your little aunt Cecily calls you her uncle. Come on, boy, you'd much better have the thing after this. My dear Algie, you, you talk exactly as if you're a dentist. It's a very vulgar point to talk about it. No one isn't even a dentist. Produces false impressions. Yes, but what's a dentist exactly like? Making me hands on. <laughs> Oh, you may stop me. It's good prosthetics. It's so hard to put on when I want to get one. <laughs> <laughs>